Hi, welcome to Reacts with Jax. I'm Jax, and today I'm reacting to X-Men, The Last Stand. I love the previous two movies. They were so good. I cannot wait to see what this movie is going to entail. Just as a little refresher, my favorite character is Logan. I think he is absolutely the star of this show or this entire movie series so far. Rogue is growing on me. She has such scary powers, but such a good heart. And of course, I love Magneto. He is a great villain. What an interesting performance. I think the acting's phenomenal. And half the time I'm looking at him, I just see Gandalf. So <laughs> I'm, I, I love what anytime he's in a movie. I don't know what this movie's about. So I'm really excited to jump right into it. Make sure you subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed this content, and let's get started. Look at that. A beautiful suburban street. Oh, my. And I would expect you of all people would understand my feelings about the misuse of power. Ah, power corrupts and all that. Yes, I know, Charles. This is wild. They're best friends and he's not in a wheelchair. What a beautiful campus. John, don't you think? He has a brochure. This is Jean's parents. You think your daughter is sick, Mr. Gray? Perhaps it would be best if we were to speak to her. Jean? Can you come down, dear? That is really interesting that they're starting this movie off with Jean when she supposedly died in the last movie. But I didn't believe it because Marvel. Always killing off characters and bringing them back. Do you think you were the only one of your kind, young lady? We're mutants, Jean. We are like you. Really? I doubt that. A little egotistical. <gasps> Wow. Wait a minute. She was struggling with her powers before. Oh my god, it's Stanley. <gasps> oh, Charles. Oh my god. You have more power than you can imagine, Jean. I didn't know we were getting a Stanley cameo. Warren? Son, is everything all right? What's going on in there? Oh my god, this poor little kid. Open the door. Warren. One second! Open this door. Warren. What is on his back? Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Not you. Dad, I'm sorry. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why? Sweetheart, it's okay. Oh, that's so cool. They brought the guy back from the last movie. Hello, Logan. Thanks, Kitty. Competition. <laughs> He's lighting his cigar. I love it. Class dismissed. This was a class? This was a training exercise? Oh my goodness. Ah! How was he able to, like, get something out of his eye? I know how you feel. Don't. When Jean died, I said don't. Maybe it's time for us to move on. Us? Sweetheart, you had one kiss with her. A wrong kiss. He had a full-on relationship with her for years. Unless he was just talking about the fact that they both knew her. Have a seat, Hank. What kind of mutant is he? You think your prisons can hold her? We have some new prisons, Hank. We'll keep them mobile. Be a step ahead this time. That sounds like Fraser. It's what she stole from the FDA. This must be a completely different time period, because that's a different... You realize the level of impact this will have on the mutant community? Yes, I do. That's precisely why we need some of your diplomacy now. Oh. That's a different president, so this must be even farther in the future. How are we to decide what falls within the range of ethical behavior and what... Professor? We'll continue this tomorrow. Uh-oh. Those clouds did not look friendly. 
Perhaps they were. I don't have to be psychic to see that something's bothering you. I don't understand. Magneto's a fugitive. We have a mute. What if you poked somebody's eye out? Why are we still hiding? We're not hiding, but we still have enemies out there. And I must protect my students, you know that. I wouldn't want paper airplanes just randomly flying throughout the room. But you of all people know how fast the weather can change. There's something you're not telling us. Well, could you tell me? I'm not going to tell anyone. You can't cure being a mutant. Well, scientifically speaking. Since when did we become a disease? How can anybody Stop. in the right... They're announcing it now. Oh my gosh. Well, how... I mean, I don't even know ethically how you would test it. Our people... Just well, like if us. you had volunteers, their affliction is nothing more. But this would need to be tested disease. for a very long time, over like ten years. But I stand here today to tell you for it to pass through all hope. of the tests. And this site, once the world's most famous prison, will now be the source of freedom. Oh God! For all mutants who choose it. You're using a former prison. <laughs> I don't know why that just seems so wrong. <laughs> we have a cure. Yeah, some people might want it. I mean, what kind of coward would take it just to fit? Okay, that's rude. You talk pretty tough for a guy in a cape. Back off. Wow, they gave him a little fire creator. Sense other mutants in their power. Mm -hmm. Locate one for me. He's so good. That was a strategic move, going to recruit more mutants. This is interesting. I'm surprised nobody's ever brought up creating mutations in people, you know? Secretary McCoy, welcome to Worthington Labs. Thank you, Dr. Rao. Not an easy place to get to. It's the safest location we could find. This actress's voice sounds so familiar. Hello there, son. Hi. My name is Hank McCoy. What? What? You have an amazing gift. Thank you, Jimmy. Huh. What you doing, Cyclops? Going to buy a new pair of sunglasses? But I'm surprised if people are like, let's figure out how to get rid of mutations with superpowers, which I think is a perfectly valid thing to create for people who want it. Like for people who have mutations that are really difficult for them. Like Rogue, if she wants to get rid of her power, that's totally fine. But I'm surprised that nobody's like, let's figure out a way to create more mutations in people that might want them. Well, Magneto did, but he was, you know, totally evil and trying to turn the world against one another, so. Stop! 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 Oh, you pissed off a fish. Or the Loch Ness Monster. What is happening? Seriously? Jake? Scott? All you had to do was shoot the water with your laser beams and she'd come back? Her hair is so much longer. How many years have passed? Or is that part of her magical powers now too? Just like suddenly growing more hair. Mm -hmm. You can't hurt me. Okay, she's super powerful. She seemed so powerful as a little kid. Like, way more powerful than we had ever seen her be in the previous movies. So, I'm curious as to why she stopped being powerful. I don't know. Maybe that's just my interpretation of it. It's just they made a comment in the last one that said she was having trouble levitating certain things. But as a kid, she didn't have any problems doing that. You don't want to be here. Do you? Uh-oh. Watch out, the lake monster has powers. Well, 
Well, that's an interesting tourist attraction. I like that Logan has the same jacket on from the first movie. Uh-oh. Should have kept your glasses, Scott. Logan! Did you bring the glasses? The sheer mass of water that collapsed on top of Jean should have obliterated her completely. The only explanation of Jean's survival is that her powers wrapped her in a cocoon of telekinetic... Okay, so that's the only solution. Okay. And as a result, Jean developed a dual personality. What? Yeah. A personality that in our sessions came to call itself the Phoenix. A purely instinctual creature, all desire and joy and rage. Okay. I'm trying to restore the psychic blocks and cage the beast again. What have you done to her? Logan, you have to understand... You're talking about a person's mind here, about... Yeah. I had a terrible choice to make. I chose the lesser of two evils. Well, it sounds to me like Jean had no choice at all. I don't have to explain myself. Least of all to you. I trust Professor Xavier. I don't fully understand this, and I think at first it can come off kind of... Like maybe he was doing something that he maybe shouldn't have done. But I'm getting the impression that he understands this a lot better than I do. You sure you want to start with him? I think it's important, yes. Hello, Warren. Oh, that's right, he's much older now. Oh. Everything's gonna be fine, I promise. You should just ask your son if this is what he wants. You ready? And give him a big hug and don't start on the experiments with him. <gasps> Oh, he's so fluffy. He, dude, he can fly. Has he just never wanted to fly before? The transformation can be a little jarring. Why? Oh, God. Uh, Lammy? I think it's time for you to enter the chat. Dad, can we talk about this for a sec? We've talked about it, son. So he doesn't want to do it. Wait. I can't. Okay, that's totally fine. No, no, no. Um, the doctor needs to say, I'm not going to do this without his consent. Why no! Is that little kid allowed to leave? All those people. Told you so. I'm glad she didn't kill him slowly. I can't remember what class she said they were. Didn't she say you're all a class four? Or are they class five as well? You can let me out of here, I need a pee. <laughs> Play dead. Oh God, oh God. He didn't die well at all. Oh. My. God. She's no longer a mutant? I'm sorry, my dear. You're not one of us anymore. Oh. Um. I'm loving this. It's a shame. She was so beautiful. Wow. This is going to be so cool for her character development. You and I know that it's only going to get worse. All the more reason why I need to be where I belong. Oh, this is a little mirror from the first step the first movie. Logan, you're making me blush. That's totally Phoenix. Okay, I'm loving her. This is such a change-up from the first movie when I didn't think there was a lot of chemistry between them. But that's because Jean probably wasn't really choosing him. She was choosing Cyclops, and now this version of her... 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm loving how this actress is playing this role. I didn't see where this character was going. Ah, Lammy, almost fell. <laughs> Professor said you might be different. He would know. Oh my goodness. He's tamed you. Where's Scott? Yeah, where is Scott? You're in the mansion. You need to tell me what happened. I would to love Scott. for someone to say that to me one day. You're in the mansion, don't worry. <laughs> Look at me. Okay, so the professor was right. I think we can all acknowledge. Professor can help, he can fix it. I don't wanna fix it. Oh. <laughs> okay, she's awesome. It's a mutant, class five. More powerful than anything I've ever felt. More powerful than you. He knows. Oh, interesting. Jean. Jean. What happened? What have you done? Well, he didn't do anything. Kind of. She's left the mansion, but she's trying to block my thoughts. She's so strong. It may be too late. Oh, my. Wait for me here. What? I need to see Jean alone. Why would she come here? Nobody gets him, son. Y'all need someone who can walk through him. You've always held her back. For your own good, G. Stay out of my head. How does Magneto know that Jean won't hurt him? You killed the man you loved because you couldn't control your power. No, stop it! That's it. Oh, God. I don't believe Logan's going to be able to get through. Hey. Why would you throw Logan into the house he's trying to break into? Is that what he did, or did he throw him into a different house? Oh, look at all this property damage. There's some family who's going to come home from picking up their kids at school. They had to have built out this house as an entire set, right? I wonder how many takes they got to destroy it. Probably one. Maybe two. Is she gonna kill Xavier? I think so. Oh my god, her house is floating! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no. He's such a good person. And Logan's gonna see it happening. No. Don't let it control you. Oh. Uh... That was a really beautiful last line of dialogue for him. Even as he's being killed, he's still trying to help her. My dear, come with me. You're not at all worried about her? She just murdered your best friend in the whole world that you kind of hate? I don't know what the relationship was. Charles was more than a leader, more than a teacher. He was a friend. Wait a minute. Rogue can take anyone's powers. She's kind of a good defense against Jean. He may be gone, but his teachings live on through us, his students. I guess it's temporary though, but maybe she can take it temporarily and get Jean back. And you have Rogue and I've, yeah, I just miss home. The first snow and all that. Well, he can make it snow. I mean, you can walk through walls, you know. She can? Come on. That's cool. You could totally walk through the immovable force guy. 
This set is so beautiful. This is so much prettier than the Avengers campus. Disney should have built out this at California Adventure. <laughs> I cannot believe you are taking her on a romantic ice skating experience and you're not inviting Rogue. You should have invited Rogue. Shouldn't you be telling me to stay? To go upstairs and unpack? I'm not your father. I'm your friend. Just think about what I said, Rogue. I love their friendship. Marie. Marie. I also like that in a world of mutants, that don't like their birth names, that she's kind of at peace with the name of Marie, like she's not upset about it. It just, to me, shows that she's a lot more neutral to the idea of humans and not quite as against humans. I don't know. Maybe that's just how I interpret things. But it seems like sometimes these alter ego identities are there to distance themselves from humans so they don't feel so badly when they go after them. Gee, he wanted to hold you back. What do you want? Yeah. I want you to be what you are. Well, no you don't, because if she wants to hurt you, you don't want her to do that. The cure is meant for all of us. If we want freedom, we must fight for it. And that fight begins now. I don't believe he really wants a better world for mutants, because let's say that all of the humans were killed and it was just mutants. I think Magneto would still want to sit at the top of that hierarchy. Charles Xavier did more for mutants than you'll ever know. The single greatest regret is that he had to die for our dream to live. That's why I like Magneto as a villain. Because deep down, there's just something really human about him. Not like human versus mutant. There's something really heartfelt about him. We'll have to tell the students that they're going home. Most of us don't have anywhere to go. Well, Bobby, you do have a home. I was told that this was a safe place for mutants. It was, son. And it still is. <laughs> Good job, Storm. Hey, Rogue. Kind of regretting your midnight. Ice capade session, hmm? Hey, Pete. You seen Rogue? Yeah, she took off. Oh my god, look at that TV. Oh. Oh, this movie is so dated. <laughs> now our phones can be TVs. Oh, the times have changed. Oh god. Uh, why? No, it's so scary. <laughs> Gee. Okay. That's exactly what she did to Scott right before she killed him, apparently. Although I don't know if Scott's truly dead. If Marvel doesn't give you a slow motion death, I don't know if it's real. Where are you going? Where do you think? She's gone, Logan. She's not coming back. When Jean is saying Logan, 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 my guess is that's actually Jean. The Jean I know is still in there. Calling out for help. And then Phoenix is the one who's killing everyone. Of course. Because you love her. I appreciate that kind of dedication. We don't need a cure! We don't need a cure! We don't need a cure! Get him a cure so you can go back home to mommy and daddy? He can probably go home. His powers aren't that bad. He can totally blend. Make a move. I don't think it would be good for mutants if you guys fought. Same old Bobby. Right now. Still afraid of a fight! Gosh, he's such a hothead. Pun intended. Oh my god! Bobby, you can put out the fire. You have to find Magneto and stop him. By any means necessary. Magneto wants a war. We'll give him one. But you can't use metal guns. No weapon. Oh! Turn in all metal! Bayonet! Magnus Age! Dog tags! Pick up your plastic well, weapon! Y'all can't have zippers either. You need Velcro. That would be a lot. How much money do you think it would cost to create an entire uniform change so that they didn't have any metal attached to them? That would 
cost a lot of money. Oh god. What is he creating? Like, I feel like there would be plenty of people in this world that would actually want to become mutants. You know? I would want a superpower. I don't know if I'd want to be experimented on. Totally would not want to want that. But if someone was like, hey, we can give you like mind reading abilities or something like that, I'd be like, yeah, cool. That sounds great. So I feel like the conversations that they're having in this movie aren't quite as well-rounded as they should be. But I get it. They have to make the humans and the mutants totally against each other. You got stabbed, didn't you? Yeah. What is it? But I say to you, we are the cure! Well, maybe they shouldn't have called it a cure. Take control of the cure and destroy its source. And then nothing oh. can stop us. Okay, so as he's talking, I'm realizing I totally forgot Mystique doesn't have her powers anymore. I thought the president was talking to that guy and that that guy was Mystique. I totally forgot that Mystique is now a human. I don't- I think that's Phoenix. Yeah, that's Phoenix. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh! And you stood there and let him die. I'm not leaving here without her. Yes, you are. How far are Magneto's powers- Like, what's his range? How far away from him do you have to be in order to not be impacted by his abilities? How did we find it? She gave us everything we wanted and more. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Wow. Okay. I do feel for Mystique. It's tough when you think people actually care about you and instead they only care about what they can get from you. And that's a tough lesson to learn. And I think a lot of these mutants probably think they found a family, but Magneto's not really a great family. I mean, I love him as a villain. He's such a great villain. But partly because he does convince people that he cares about them, and he really, I don't think he really does. This is team leader to Bravo One. We are green to go. Bravo One, I wish you luck. I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, send them in. Okay. I don't know why I'm wishing them luck. It's not like I want all these mutants to die. <laughs> okay. I give up. Oh, isn't he charming? They're gonna attack Alcatraz. There are troops stationed on that island. Not enough to stop him. Let's suit up. You okay? Hard to believe this one's fit, eh? If <laughs> Can you estimate how many he has? An army. And Jean. His powers have limits. I Those like that he separated them. An army and Jean. Because she is also an army. And we stand together. All of us. We're in. Let's go. I love that this group of people really does feel like a family. But are you ready to do what you need to do when the time comes? No. I don't think you're going to kill Jean. Oh. Does Jean have to die, though? I still think my solution is the best. Just have Rogue take her powers, and then Jean can come back, and then the professor's not there to put any mental blocks on her anymore. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's a working plan, but I think there's something there to it. <laughs> I guess you could give Jean the cure. I'm not really about the whole shooting people with the cure thing, unless it's something that they want, even though Jean is highly destructive. I don't know. This is complex. I do like the fact that in the MCU, they built up all the tension between the Avengers and normal civilians over a series of movies, as opposed to in this world, they just kind of put all that tension right up front 
And I'm not sure if that's just because it was like a main theme in the comics or if it's because they just decided to do that for this movie series. But I do like the fact that you saw a little more nuance in how it was all, in how that tension built in the MCU. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but why wouldn't you have done that when you were floating in the air? <laughs> the boys in the southeast corner of the building. Well Let's take it down! But like, what's his range? Oh, his range was pretty. Yeah, it, you could. You had to get pretty close to him. In chess, the pawns go first. Yeah, he does not mind sacrificing pawns. That's why the pawns go first. Oh my god! If your goal is to stop this mutant attack, this is pretty ingenious. I wonder, I'm not, okay, I'm not, it's not like I'm actively trying to prevent mutants from being mutants, but just from like a tactical war standpoint, I wonder if they could turn this cure into a gas. Because then instead of having to hit your target, you could just, you know, it would be a lot easier. Move my stars and garters. Go into stealth mode. This could be dangerous for you guys. Oh my god. Okay, someone like that, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind hitting him with a cure. He's a little dangerous. <laughs> Watch out, Storm. You guys, somebody might hit you with one of those weapon thingies. How, you need to, you need to like wear a sign that says we're on your side. I'm so worried one of these good guys is gonna get hit. Isn't there like an anti-cure that you could take <laughs> to prevent you from ever being cured? <laughs> Traitors to their own cause. Some would say you are, Magneto. Finish them! Wait, but the whole shooting them with the cure thing was actually working. you've just kind of made it worse. Okay, he's got some skills. With a Z. Not yet. Interesting. You're protecting him. Well, probably because you think his powers are great. What happens when that metal guy goes up against the immovable force? He's going for the boy! Not if I get there first! You, oh, yes, you, you get there first, kitty, which is such a weird name. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? No. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think her power might be one of my favorite because she has the ability to never get captured by anyone. Her power is very defensive, but it's not going to necessarily hurt anyone. I like it. I think her power is pretty great. You're the guy that invented the cure, right? Yes. Everything's going to be okay. Oh! Wow. Some of these people kill with no remorse. I'm the wrong guy to play hide and seek with. Who's hiding? <laughs> Good job. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I only wanted to help you people. Do we look like we need your help? Yeah, because you look like a raving sociopath. <laughs> Saved by a son! Saved by a son! Oh my gosh. 
See, those angel wings come in, come in handy. I said he could fly to safety. Oh, oh, that's when a piercing just goes wrong. Bobby, can't you just turn it all to ice? Yeah. It becomes a really easy solution, doesn't it? We work as a team. Best defense is a good offense. And the best team is made of friendship. Good job, Bobby. Good job. I approve of that ice machine, man. What's Bobby's fake name? Like, I mean, not his fake name, but what's his like power name? His mutant name. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, Bobby looks so, he does not look confident. What? You never should have left. I okay. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, wait, why did you think that would work? You never learn, do you? Actually, I do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You used them all? Didn't you just need one? You could have used one for Jean. Okay. One of them. Wow. I did not think that they were gonna take Magneto out like this. This is what they want for all of us. Wow. You're just a regular old guy now. It's over, Jean. Is it? Just because you got Magneto? No! No! Wow. Everybody get out of here! Good luck. Will she let them leave? Aww. Why doesn't that kid just get super close to Jean? I feel like there's a really easy solution. Down. Yeah. Seriously? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> There's a lot happening in this movie. It's really impressive how powerful she is. It's such a shame she has no ability to fully control this. I know you're still there! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, but his healing abilities are stopping him from being killed. Oh, he's being ripped right to the bone. I love you. Wow. That was such a great look she gave at the end, it was like, she was so relieved. No! Good job, Logan. Even though that was the last thing you wanted to do. Gosh, this movie has just changed the X-Men forever. I have no idea where we're gonna go from here. Absolutely none. Charles is dead. Jean is dead. The villains that we've had throughout the story are not mutants anymore. Scott, so he really did die. It's what I want. She, she, she got the cure? Oh my God. Oh my, what is this movie? 
Oh, the roller coaster. The representative to the world for all United States citizens, human and mutant alike, Dr. Hank McCoy. Hank McCoy. Way to go, Furball. <laughs> yeah, he was a great character. What a fanta fantastic person. I love the school. You know, for as much war and animosity is in this world between the humans and the mutants, I do love the camaraderie of the mutants at Xavier's school. So because he's not a mutant anymore, he's not going to go to jail or anything? I can't believe you just ended on that scene! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Here we go. Hello, Moira. <gasps> Wait a minute. Charles. Uh, 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 what? I'm so, I, what? How dare you end the movie that way? Oh my god! Marvel! They never kill anyone. Who knows? Maybe Gene will come back. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we have to talk about that. That was totally unexpected. Under no circumstance was I linking the earlier discussions they had about putting the consciousness of somebody in another body and then Charles dies. And of course he would be able to go into somebody else's body because he, he's that powerful. Magneto is going to be thrilled. I do have to say, this is so interesting for all of their character developments. I have no idea how Magneto is going to react in the next movie. Is it possible that he won't actually be a villain now that he's had a little bit of time to be a non-mutant and he also saw how destructive Jean could be? I don't know. And he's also had to lose his friend and he's going to learn that Charles is back. Charles is back. Wow. Oh, Marvel, what are you doing with me? You're playing with my heartstrings. You kill people off. You bring them back. I, who knows? Maybe Scott's not really dead. I'm, I'm not counting anyone out. Maybe Gene will even come back. Who knows? Because if Charles can put his mind into somebody else's consciousness, then why couldn't Gene just attack somebody in a coma, kill them off, take their body? Who knows? Scott probably wouldn't be able to do that because I don't think his laser beam powers are capable of transporting his consciousness into somebody else's. See, laser beam powers, not the best to have. Whew. Well, this movie certainly threw me for a loop. A lot happened. The X-Men world is changing rapidly. Oh my goodness. Well, this was awesome. I had so much fun watching this. I hope you did as well. Thank you so much for coming on this X-Men journey with me on the road to Deadpool. We will see Deadpool eventually, but um, it's been really fun watching all these movies <laughs> along the way. I feel like this is a very long road trip. Destination Deadpool, but we're seeing some amazing sights. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I had a blast and I hope you did as well. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Like this video if you enjoyed it. I hope you have the most amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.